Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time and again it does not matter what sport you're betting on we have you covered. I'm going to talk about some games in Major League Baseball for Sunday June the 20th but before we do I want to invite you to check out the Z Code Playoff Simulator as the Euro League is just getting started. This is great for for making uh, predictions and if you see here playoff simulator you see the brackets here we got group a group b group c group d e and f you see all the groups here and you can click on all these and you can see uh we have all the scores here scores predictions for each group that's really pretty a, a pretty great uh tool you can even hit simulate that uh, will simulate the scores if, you, if i hit the simulate now you see what's going to happen as we wait for it to come up but when you do the simulation it's going to be a a great thing as far as giving like predictions for the scores and you can also do it for all the other leagues you got NFL, NBA, NCAA basketball, Major League Baseball and here you see how the scores have come up with the simulations with the percent likelihood of it happening so it's a really great tool and in this simulation England is picked to come out on top in the final match by a 3-2 to two score 56 percent likelihood so it's a really great tool so check it out when you have time so now back to Major League Baseball, we're going to check out games again for June the 20th. And we're going to scroll down to through here and take a look at our first matchup. There's plenty of games in store now. We're going to take a look at five of them. Uh, and the first one is New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. Two National League East teams battle with Tejon Walker scheduled to pitch for the Mets. He is 6-2 with a 2.12 ERA, and Patrick Corbett is scheduled to pitch for the Nationals. He is 4-5 with a 5.60 ERA. You see that the Mets are average at the moment, having lost their last game. Winners are 4 out of their last 6, and the Nationals are burning hot at the moment. They have won their last 4, and 5 out of their last 6. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Mets are at plus 23, and the Nationals are at plus 24. If you look at the picture profit oscillator, you can see that Walker has been in much better bet at plus $2,736, and Corbin has been a relatively poor bet at minus $193. If you look at the totals predictor, if you're considering the over and under for this game, you can see that the Mets are trending in games slightly over the line, and Washington is trending in games slightly under the line, so it's best to avoid the over under in that scenario. If you take a look at the scores predictor, you can see that we have the Nationals with a 5-4 to four margin at 55% confidence. Now, the line yet has not yet been set, but I am going to actually lean towards the Mets. Walker has been a better pitcher, and he has been a much better bet. Let's go with the Mets to win in a road upset. The A's and the Yankees. The American League West meets AL East in this battle, with the two teams burning hot at the moment. Sean Manet is scheduled to pitch for the A's. He is 6-2 with a 2.99 ERA. And Jordan Montgomery is scheduled to pitch for the Yankees. He is 3-1 with a 4.20 ERA. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the A's are plus 29 compared to plus 22 for the Yankees, although the Yankees have been on an upward climb over the last several days. If you're considering the over and under in this game, you can see that the A's are trending in games under the line. The Yankees are trending in games over the line. In this scenario, it's best to avoid. I mean, it's best to yeah avoid the over and under. Um, the scores predictor shows the A's by a five to three margin with about the confidence level of a flip of a coin at fifty point three percent. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see that Montgomery is a plus eight hundred thirty dollars on the pitcher profit oscillator, and Manea is plus four forty seven. So both pitchers have been a very solid bet. I think that the A's probably have a slight advantage, even though the Yankees are playing at home. Uh, Manea has been a better pitcher as of late. I think that the A's come away with a road win. The Red Sox and the Royals. Two teams are heading in opposite directions. You see the Red Sox are burning hot at the moment, and the, and the Royals are in dead status. Nathan Eovaldi is scheduled to pitch for the Red Sox. He is 7-3 with a 3.76 ERA. And Brad Keller is scheduled to pitch for the Royals. He is 6-6 uh, six six with a 6.14 ERA. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see Boston is at plus 25 on a 
steep upward trend, and the Royals are at plus three. Just considering the over and under in this one like we always do, you want to see this, you see that the Red Sox are two points over the line, the Royals are also over, so this is a good indication to bet the over, and the scores predictor also indicates that Red Sox 10, Royals 6, although the confidence in prediction is only 45%. If you're looking at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see who had the better bet has been. Keller has actually been a surprisingly better bet, despite the record at plus $462, compared to Eovaldi at a slightly negative bet at negative $35. Regardless of that, I think that um, the Red Sox will come away with a road win and cover. A lot more games in store. You see that there's a full slate of games, but we're only going to take a look at two more. Let's go down through here. There's a lot to look at as we are getting closer to the All Star break. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. In the AOS, the Dodgers face the Diamondbacks with Tony Gonson taking the hill. If you look at Gonson, he has a 3.38 ERA, and his record is 0 and 0. The Dodgers are average status in the, at the moment. You can see if they have lost their last game. And over the last uh, six, they are four and two. The Diamondbacks are dead status and losers of their last six. In the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Dodgers have a plus 21 to plus one advantage there. If you're taking a look at the totals predictor, which we always like to do, the Dodgers, after trending in games over the line for some time, are now trending under. And the Diamondbacks are trending over. Best to avoid the over-under in that kind of scenario. If you take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator, let's see what Gonsolin has done. You see a relatively a small sample size, but Gonsolin is at minus $220. The scores predictor has the Dodgers by an 83 margin with a high level of confidence at 86%. I'm going right along with them on that one. I believe that the Dodgers will win and win rather easily and cover the spread. The final game we want to look at is the St. Louis Cardinals and the Atlanta Braves. The Cardinals are averaged down at the moment versus ice cold up for the Braves. You can see that the Cardinals have lost their last game and over the last six they are three and three. The Braves have won their last game and they're only two and four though over their last six games. Kwang Hun Kim is scheduled to pitch for the Cardinals. He is 1 and 4 with a 3.72 ERA, and the Braves have yet to name their starter. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here the Cardinals are on an upward trend going up here to plus 19, and the Braves have been on a kind of steady downward trend. They had a little, they had a little upward trend here, but now they're back down to plus 4. Considering the over and under, the Cardinals have been playing in games trending over the line. The Braves have been playing in games trending under the line. Again, in that scenario, it's usually best to avoid placing that bet. The scores predictor shows the Braves by a 6-5 margin with a 63% level of confidence. I say I would wait around to see what the line is going to be before placing the bet. But as of now, I am leaning towards the Braves at home. But again, check on the line before placing the bet and see where it is, because I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. So there you have it. Those are the games for June the 20th. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the betting. And we will see you next time.